Hey loves, it's Britt and in this video I'm going to talk about what it means to have your moon square to someone's Mars in Sinistry or vice versa, what it means to have this spicy aspect in Sinistry. I'm not surprised this was requested because it's pretty intense. So with this one there is a high level of energy emotional energy, sexual energy, physical energy, but it sometimes can be even a bit too much so. And the moon in astrology represents our emotional self, our inner child self, our feminine self. And Mars represents the aggressor, the pursuer, our animal sexual nature and masculinity as far as like yeah how we actually go after what we want so the masculine and feminine energies of both people here are in a state of tension now the square aspect in sinistry means there's a level of constant headbutting and tension and it can add a lot of attraction because squares cause so much friction that it's kind of like a yeah this electricity that can happen and when it's between moon and mars it can be emotional and sexual so there's this high level of emotional and sexual tension that can actually lead to a very deep although perhaps difficult emotional and sexual relationship. The moon person can feel at times that the Mars person is a little bit harsh or maybe a lot harsh. Um, the Mars person can be seen as very masculine, even in some cases sort of heroic and, and um, yeah, kind of like the soldier or um, yeah, like the I always think of moon Mars aspects as like the Mars person is kind of like the fireman um, saving the moon person out of the burning building and then the moon person is like oh my god you saved my life and now have sex with me right here. Um, it can lead to a little bit of that kind of energy where um, the moon person can really feel like the Mars person is like that level of masculinity and uh, like a heroic presence. But because it's the square, it's more likely that while at times the moon person might feel like that, um, they also can feel just as intensely irritated and frustrated and even like emotionally violated um, at times by the Mars person. And this doesn't matter who's who either, like the moon person could be the male, right? And the Mars person could be the female and it's still like gonna be felt like this um, usually. So this one, it doesn't necessarily show incompatibility because there can be a lot of attraction and passion and um, you know a lot of people specifically like you know plutonic or fire sign um, energies you know they like a little spice and heat in the relationship and you're certainly going to get that with this square but for people who like peace and harmony and tranquility more um, then that, uh, this one will be not favorable. And you have to look at everything else that's going on too, because you could have this coinciding with other positive aspects to Moon and Mars, which that is probably what you would want with this one. You wouldn't want this to be like the standalone, um, only aspect there, um, because it's, it's pretty tense, right? So, yeah, but some people like this kind of moon Mars tension because it's definitely sexy, right? Um, and it's like kind of like it, it's romantic even like from a movie, you know, like that movies romance are portrayed in such a heated, intense way, you know, so that they're not boring to watch. And that's kind of like 
what this aspect would show. So the Mars person can feel like they want to conquer the moon person emotionally. They want to dominate them. And it's not like in um, an abusive way or anything, but they just, the way the moon person acts and feels and projects themselves emotionally, the Mars person gets really turned on, but also they can get a bit agitated as well and, and frustrated and the moon person can really push their buttons and piss them off and vice versa. I mean, it both people can be irritated with each other with this aspect. But the Mars person too, um, depending on the nature of their own Mars, they can want to protect the moon person. They can want to keep the moon person safe, but they can also feel like that maybe they can't or maybe it's impossible because the way that the moon person expresses their emotions is so contrary to the way the Mars person acts and the way the Mars person hunts and goes after what they want. They can feel like even though they may want to be that hero for the moon person, they might feel that they can't. And it, they could even feel a bit insecure about their own Mars um, with the square because Mars can represent a lot about our like male ego. And when someone's moon, their emotional self is constantly giving us tension, you know, we can feel like as much as we try to do for them, we're just not appreciated or we're just constantly getting um the wrong reaction or uh like with this aspect the emotional reactions on both people can be sort of alarming and come out of nowhere and just like you know you try to get a certain response and you get a different response and like it um yeah it can be very agitating but at the same time you can actually become very close because of how different you are and um, because of the nature of the square, it kind of makes both of our selfish natures come out more. So the moon person is going to be more selfish emotionally. And the Mars person is going to be more selfish sexually and aggressively, you know, or assertively in their life. They can actually be more assertive or um, more dominant. And um, the moon person can be more emotionally dominant. So depending on the nature of the two people, we could see a lot of selfishness, a lot of like selfish urges and wanting to take from that person. It's, yeah, it's very interesting what this aspect does and like the level of like animalistic passion and even like there can be a bit of like greed with each other where you just like you want to own this person and you yeah emotionally sexually physically it's very interesting so it can be a relationship that has a lot of energy emotional energy sexual tension physical energy um and it can be pretty exhilarating you know it's definitely an activating aspect there's there's aspects that are stimulating um, emotionally and physically, and this would be one of them. It's not super relaxing, you know. It you can feel a bit edgy around each other, um, and y you can feel like you're in a constant battle, which you may like um, if you have the right placements for it, where it feels sexy to kind of have this level of heated tension and definitely passion. This is a very passionate aspect. Although we're different, we feel very passionate about each other. And it's definitely a very memorable relationship. Um, if the people in their own natal charts have a tendency towards selfishness or aggression, this one could get pretty ugly and toxic. So you want to be aware of that um, and also the other aspects that are going on here. Do we have some other pleasant aspects? Do we have some trines 
Do we have some sextiles? Do we have some Jupiter and other moon aspects that are more comfortable and supportive? Um, then this, it, it might not show that this is a deal breaker. It might just be like adding some spicy seasoning onto um, a relationship, you know, and giving it that kick that um, definitely some people will like. And, um, you know, relationships that don't have hard aspects at all, you know, no squares or oppositions are very boring to most people. So this one, it's difficult. You're going to piss each other off, but some people might like it. And it can be very motivating because you do get each other going. Um, and yeah, so it's um, definitely intense. And fiery and heated. Um, also, Moon Mars aspects can sometimes show that the Mars person, on some unconscious level, wants to impregnate the Moon person. Now, with the square, there's going to be more tension around this, but there can still be a primal energy of wanting to conceive. Um, although, with the square, we're going to see maybe more difficulty with that or more conflict around that but the mars person and even the moon person there can be a desire to have that fifth house um energy that like creativity come out which can show a pregnancy so this could be a very um fertile aspect um for that as well although it would come along with some tension because you know, the other thing too, the moon is how we are at home, you know, our home life, our childhood, our, how we raise children. And um, it can show that there's tension in the home, you know, how we do that, how we raise children, how we, maybe we, if we do live together, there is tension in the home with this aspect. So you'd want to have other good aspects along with it um, to be able to actually have that type of relationship but it still can bring up those kind of themes you know nurturing children um living together these themes are being brought up but in a more difficult way so yeah it's it's very interesting um definitely not surprised this aspect was requested and um, yeah, I'd love to know your experiences of this aspect. Was it like this? Was it not like this? And um, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.